What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. This is going to be sort of like a redo of a live stream that I did the other day. Now, the live stream had some issues after I did. It was a great live stream. As a matter of fact, I'm going to link you to it. It's on my Patreon. If you are a channel member, you can see it as well. YouTube held up the video for almost a day, a full day. Because I used a clip from uh, Viacom. I was trying to make my point about something I used on that clip, which I probably shouldn't have done. Because it held up the processing of that video and it was blocked. So now I put it on Patreon. Like I said, if you become a member, you can see it. Um, it was a great live stream, great live stream. But this is gonna be video form. Uh, this is basically gonna be me speaking on a lot of the points that I made in the uh, live stream. Listen, a lot of melanated women are going out extremely badly with this worshiping that they're doing. So when you have a society that are pushing a divide towards men and women. You know, they've been doing it in the black community for years, elevating the woman, downgrading the man. Uh, when you look at commercials, right? When you look at the commercials, they always make the, the man look like an idiot. Whether he's the husband, the father, he's always looked upon as stupid, confused, goofy, never strong fathers. And they've been doing this since I think I was like a teenager, probably even before then, you know, when you actually had to watch commercials, you know, until the show came back on, unless you were flipping channels, right? So when you look at how in the melanated community, how you have the women with this feminist mindset. They've gotten all these degrees. They not don't seem to have any respect for melanated men. They think they're better than melanated men. And they have this attitude of, I can do better than you. And that is probably why their relationships fail because they go into it thinking that the only type of black man they should be with is a one who is underneath their thumb. One who is going to have to listen to them. One who is not going to be in control. They're going to be in control. You see, when they go to school for their education, when they go to school and they get these good jobs, they do it with the intention of being the breadwinner in the relationship. You see, when it comes to black men, they don't have high standards unless it's looks only. The majority of these westernized melanated women, they only seek out males who are attractive to them and that's it. They don't have to have a car. They don't have to have a place to stay. They don't even have to have a, a good job, a decent job, a regular job. As long as that woman finds that man attractive, she's going to try to fix him up into what she wants him to be. But then if she does fix him up, she's going to be angry if he ends up leaving her. Do you know why he ends up leaving? Because he doesn't respect these. A lot of these guys don't respect women who date them when they are broke and and dusty and when they get on their feet they're gonna leave you for women that they actually want to be with feminine women that need to be taken care of don't it don't matter how lazy these guys seem to be a lot of these guys have the mindset of a patriarchal man who is leading the household who's taking care of his responsibilities as a man because i'm telling you right now i don't care what these women tell you, these women who are taking care of grown men, these men are living in their home. 
those men don't see themselves as real men. I don't care what these men say. And I'm, I'm saying all that because in the live stream that I did, I spoke about how a lot of these melanated women are going out really sad, chasing after Caucasian men just because those men are Caucasian. And I spoke about the, the two, two examples. I spoke about the woman who went viral talking about how she, you know, she's a melanated woman. She doesn't date black men. She only dates white men. You know, nobody else but white. These women are so obsessed with Caucasian men, right? And they've never, now this particular female is a single mother. She's a single mother and of a biracial child. If she was, if white, if Caucasian men were so great, why didn't the guy that knocked you up stay with you? Now, again, I'm assuming the child is mixed. Could, child could be, high, you know, light, light skin, you know, like she's a, a lighter complected female, but seeing her age and her mindset, I don't think she really checks for, for melanated men like that. And that, that mindset is not always going to be there, but that's the indoctrination. A lot of these millennial and Gen Z females, especially these melanated ones, they've been indoctrinated with this worship of Caucasian culture, especially not only the, the way that they dress, you know, the, the, what they wear, how they try to emulate, I try to emulate caucasian women and their look you know they'll lighten their skin they'll wear they'll wear uh, long weave or wigs just try their best to look european they will even speak with <laughs> with the caucasian voice right and they are obsessed with that they are obsessed they think they say that that's to impress us as as melanated men which i think is a total lie you, you, you're copying them because you worship them. And this female went viral for this post. And I thought she looked goofy. How can you downgrade your own race of men in the process? Because this is what these women claim we do. When there's no evidence that a lot of these melanated men are just going out in droves and telling the whole wide world they want absolutely nothing to do with melanated women. Now you do have some guys that are doing that, but they're not doing that to the extent where it's a problem. Again, you're going to have a few guys that's going to say those things, but that's not the majority. That's not even a, a high minority. And these women are struggle daters to the core. And they really think that by dating or claiming that they only want Caucasian men, that's going to change their struggle dating behaviors. No, it's not. Because if those Caucasian guys know that you're obsessed with them, they're not going to take you seriously. Why would a man who could sleep with a woman and not have to offer her anything, why would he want a relationship with you? Why would he want anything other than having relations with you? You bring nothing to the interaction whatsoever. So what exactly is that guy going to get from committing to you? But these melanated women are so dumb that the ones that elevate these Caucasian men, they got to understand if a man knows he can sleep with you and not offer you much. And, and you've already told the whole wide world that you want nothing to do with your own race of men. They're going to treat you badly but you see they don't understand that because you have a lot of these weird melanated women who are feminist minded who hate themselves who probably didn't even have a good father figure they'll claim they came from a good home but i don't believe that if you're telling the whole world you don't want to date black men you didn't have a good upbringing you didn't have a father figure in your life i'm sorry and if you did that you didn't you don't respect them 
because any woman any melanated woman that respects her father is not going to get her goofy ass on social media and talk about how she doesn't want to date her own race of men she wants to date another race of men who have their own issues caucasian men have all types of issues do you really think they're going to be willing to bring you around their family and friends they're going to be looked upon as a disappointment bringing you around with your mindset knowing some of these females they'll probably allow this guy to say the n-word around them because this is how crazy they are the only type of males the only type of caucasian males these black male hating women are going to get with is black male hating caucasian males those are the only type of males they're going to attract because they have because they're both be able to agree on that and it just shows you how mentally ill there's a sickness and I, I talked about this on the live stream there is a sickness in your westernized melanated woman these women have a sickness okay they're getting all types of surgeries they're trying to wear their hair to look more caucasian lightening their skin they have this hate towards melanated men they don't understand that they're actually looking and pointing at a mirror. When you point and say, I don't want to date you, you're looking in a mirror. You're really saying that you don't want to date yourself. See, I would never tell people I don't date black women. I would never say I would look dumb. And I don't put other races women on a pedestal because I don't deal with them like that. I really don't. You know, I I I don't I would never elevate no caucasian woman no asian woman no latina because they may not even like me so why would i even do that they have their own biases they don't want to deal some you know you got some of them that they, they would never deal with anybody outside their race so why would i elevate people who wouldn't even deal with me because of my skin tone this is how weird these westernized melanated women are. they are so weird they are weirdos you putting out posts looking to what get the attention of a of a of a caucasian guy that hates black men that's the only type of guy you're gonna get you're not gonna get a caucasian man that has common sense and that's successful because again he brings you around his family and friends he's gonna look upon you as a look upon him as a disappointment why are you blaming this sister you brought keisha to the party <laughs> that's how they're gonna look look at them man and you sitting your goofy ass on social media for what for what just to make you feel good because i guarantee you when you log off you probably cry in your sleep because you don't have anybody and you realize that one day your options aren't going to be as good as you think they are because you're young now you're in your, what, your early 20s you think you got the world figured out well, let me tell you something right now. There's a lot of women who thought that same thing and they're struggling. They can't find nobody that wants to be with them. They can't give they they can't give the box away. They're desperately seeking somebody. They used to be like you say, I don't want to date this and that, but they have to open those options up now because they realize how stupid they really were. So let me think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you like this video and share it. If you want to see the live stream, that was a great live stream. It was a two, over two hour live stream. Click the link in the description box. Go to the Patreon. Sign up. You can go and check it out. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Y'all take care.